Now, the while statement is used for basic iterative processing. What we do is we evaluate a Boolean condition at the top of a code block. And loop will happen as long as the statement evaluates to true. So in this example, we have the variable i. As long as i is less than 10, then the statement will continue to loop around, repeating over and over and over. You see what we're doing here is actually incrementing the value of i with an i++. So this will continue looping around until we increment such that i is no longer less than 10. The do statement is also an iterative processing statement. However, this differs from the while in that with the do statement, the condition is evaluated at the end of the block. The nice thing about the do statement is that you're guaranteed that the code inside the block will run at least once. With the while statement, you have no such guarantee. If the condition is not valid at the top of the block, the entire block would be skipped with a while. For a do, we know that the code is going to execute once, and then the while will evaluate that condition again at the bottom of the block. The for statement is useful when you know or can obtain at runtime the total number of iterations that you have to go through in order to run your code effectively. When you create a for statement, you're basically going to provide three elements to the or structure, a counter variable, a Boolean condition, and an incrementation expression. Now that counter variable, if you define that in the for block, remember that that will have scope only for that for block. So you won't be able to use that counter variable outside of the block. That's usually more of an advantage than it is a disadvantage. Now here's an example of a typical for statement. So in this case, you'll notice that inside the parentheses after the for, we're declaring an integer variable, int x equal one. That's our counter variable. The second element in the expression is our condition, while x is less than 10. And finally, we have an incrementation, x plus plus. So that means that for every iteration through this loop, the value of x will increase by 1. We're doing a console.write line, and then we're writing the value of x. So with each printout, x will be first 1, then 2, then 3, etc. If I attempted to do a console.write line, line uh, however, outside of that for block using that same x variable, that would result in an error because the variable x only has scope for that block. 